Hello everyone, this is Unretired, and we are presenting today another build for Grim Dawn. Now, this is my Witchblade, level 35, max level at the moment, like I said, at the moment. So, um, well, I just want to feature this build, it's more of a, a DPS bleed build. So, I've chosen a Soldier mixed with Oculus, Oculus, or Oculus, <laughs> whichever two. Um, I went max at 50 points so I can get at least one point into All Around's Rage and I only went um, 15 points into Oculus so I wanted to get Blood of Dreg. Um, reason I took Blood of Dreg is because it has, um, in my words, Life Leech. So here it says 12% health regeneration per second. So that's um, added with the Bleed build, they're, you're basically getting more health. Uh, per second than it actually says and it does and it does give you 15% uh, health restored now I did put three points one into summon familiar or that Raven it'll do like, minimal damage it's not really the why I took him it's more for at least two points into this um, gives me a 5% plus 110 health restored uh, when I'm low on health or whenever the bird wants to actually help heal me so uh, what kind of points did I put for Soldier? Now, I do have a gear that gives me 2 points into Cadence, 2 points into Men Many Years Will, and 1 piece of gear that gives me 1 point into Blade Arc. So I have 2 points here, 2 points in Cadence, and originally 2 points in Many Years Will. I like having that uh, a bit higher, uh, at least 5k. Uh, health because uh, seeing as your DPS you're not a tank you even if you're getting Outputting a lot of DPS you'll be taking damage henceforth why I chose to get oculus with blood of dreg and at least two points in men flesh now um, So cadence is self-explanatory a weapon a hundred like it does do 140% weapons damage 70 70% 70 physical damage at the same time uh, it'll only attack two targets, uh, which is fine because we're putting more points into fighting form. Uh, you do need a two-handed weapon or a melee weapon, um, any kind of melee weapon basically. Um, two points will give me two targets maximum as per one point would do. 76 uh, bleeding damage over two seconds. I like that and 12% physical damage so at least as long as I get more than my 10% of physical damage I'm good and I put an additional three points into deadly momentum I like the fact that it reduces enemy health by 11% it is a 33% chance though of getting 11% reduction to enemy health um, you also have a knife for 95% physical damage 130% bleeding damage plus 50% increased duration so the duration of your bleeds will be 50% longer no matter if it says two seconds it will be 50% longer on that one two points uh, th sorry three points into uh, decorated soldier I wanted to have at least minimum of 20% physical added damage um, you you get slowed quite often in, in the game so a good minimum of 10% slow resistance is good and element, elemental resistance obviously uh, is always a must. Always a must. A put a point in Markovian advantage. Um, wep it, it basically percentage of weapon damage. For this one, it's 133. Uh, reduces defensive abilities of your targets, which in part works very perfectly with Force Wave. All right. And it stuns your target at the same time. So stun your target. Markovian advantage if you get that 10% uh, chance very good I put two points into internal trauma gotta get gotta make those gotta make those guys bleed bleed while you run away <laughs> especially when there's a lot of them so like I said I too have two points into blade arc um, I mean 12 target maximum that's pretty amazing so I'm getting if there is a large pack of mobs I am getting 12 targets with all the bleed damage and additional bleed damage over um, several seconds from all of my other skills. Now, if they proc, obviously, then that's amazing. 
Um, and I put six points into that additional internal trauma for three seconds, so 147 additional trauma damage and 35% bleeding damage. I love that. At minimum 30%, I added a six point for that 35%. Um, Zoltan's technique, self-explanatory, it, it, it does three targets. So basically I went for a build where I'm getting multiple targets and doing the uh, most output damage with my bleeds and I got War Cry, one point minimum. That uh, reduces 33% uh, health. Now I took this because it works perfectly with uh, Deadly Momentum. Um, if, it, if it procs at 33% then it's 11% reduction to enemy health plus your 33% so you have so 11 33 you do the math that's 44% that's pretty good all right and counter strike uh, counter strike not the game <laughs> the skill uh, just basically re it's a retaliation skill 10% uh, chance bleed damage stuns the target for 1.5 seconds um, it's pretty good so I have everything active right now I have my my shit ready so let's go see it, uh, Smuggler's Pass. Alright, let's do this. I'll just give you a quick example. Whoops, yeah, and you get, and you, do, you will get slowed and whatnot. See, the bleed is just amazing. You just go like this, this. And they die so easily. Let's go get a bigger pack. Let's let's train a big pack. Wait. Okay, this is perfect. Okay. Everybody's just dying here. You do that, this, and the bleeds are at, are so fast acting. Plus, uh, with the cadence, obviously, and the raven's doing a little damage. Yeah, let's try to get as much as possible here. Blood of Drag, War Cry, Four for Wave. Ah, oh, look at them bleeds go. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, they die quick, quite quickly. And uh, now, having better gear will help you out uh, in this build. I highly suggest adding components to your gear that will do additional bleed damage. Higher your bleed, the faster they'll go down. Even if your um, initial DPS is not as strong with your weapons, the bleeding damage itself will be very massive. Alright guys, so this is my Witchblade build. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe as you will be seeing more Grim Dawn videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.